and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. My name is Marie and I am a beautiful mess. On this channel, I approach makeup from the viewpoint of the novice. So sit back, relax, and join me on a magical makeup journey as we are testing new makeup that I have recently just acquired. Don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new content, which was shooting for about once a week. So today we're gonna try some new things that I've gotten recently. All of this stuff I purchased. Some of it I got from the Poshmark box. Now I wanted to do a look with either the Charlotte Tilbury or the Kylie palette or the Anastasia palette. That was my first want and desire was to do this one. But unfortunately, I do have to go to work today, so my makeup look cannot be that outrageous. And yesterday, other things came up. So we are gonna do a look with this eyeshadow palette today. We are gonna try the new Makeup Revolution in Real Life Filter. I'm gonna pair that with an oldie but a goodie so that I know that the primer is not affecting the foundation. And then there was a new trick, two new tricks that I learned from Rissa Does Makeup. I'll link her channel down below. And I'm actually really dying to try that to see if it works. So and then I also got the Too Faced Highlighter Palette. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited for this. And then I'm also gonna be putting the bronzer and the blush from the Tarte palette that we got in the Poshmark. I'm gonna be trying this little guy from Tarte. It is a sugar coat lip gloss that I got from Ulta. I'm gonna be pairing it with this is Milky Gloss by NYX, the Ube Milkshake. I'm really excited for that. And we're gonna see how it goes with a colored lip liner. Feel free to laugh with me. Uh, but first, we're going to go and we're going to try this Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump in the chocolate flavor. This I also got from the Poshmark box. So we're going to see what this does. And it does smell like chocolate. And so putting that on, don't feel any tinglies yet. We'll have to see. I'm not sure about that. All right, so let's put the hair up and get started. Ooh, ooh, I'm starting to feel that work now. It's been about a minute since I put the lip injection on. Definitely starting to feel the tinglies now. Not as intense as I remember though. All right, so I've already done my skincare, my lotion. So now we're gonna go in with the It's Power Grip Primer. This has been my favorite primer all summer long. And as you can see, I am sweating already. So we are definitely gonna use this today. So I'm gonna do one pump, put this on the face, get another pump, go up here, down the nose. I'm gonna try underneath my eyes too, cause that is a place I don't normally go. Another half pump. And the whole idea with this is that you need to do the home alone effect on this. Ah! You do need to pat it though, so that it gets tacky. And that whole idea is to keep your makeup on, to hold that in place. And it does, it works through the heat and the humidity and my sweat and all of that goodness. So I figured instead of trying a new primer and a new foundation that we would keep an oldie but a goodie nearby and then test this one. So I have seen different YouTubers attempt to use this and get the wrong shade because the shade system on this is just really weird. I picked an F8 and I'm still uncertain as to whether or not this is gonna be my match. So feel free to laugh with me. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and we're gonna go in with one pump on the beauty blender and we're gonna see if I did better at choosing my shade match. The benefits of this is supposed to be that it's supposed to be an airbrushed effect. 
in essence, a real life filter. But I don't think I did too bad on the shade picking. I hemmed and hawed and went back and forth to see what the best match would be for me because as you guys know, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but I don't think I did bad with this. Watching other YouTubers go through their trials and tribulations with this, I definitely think that that helps me to pick my shade. All right, F8, good. Now, whether or not I like this foundation or not, that is going to be another story. Foundations I've been loving this summer, of course, has been the IT CC Nude Glow Cream, um, the ELF Halo Glow, Flawless Filter, which is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know how I feel about this. It kind of looks like makeup. I'm very much into the no makeup makeup look. So I'm not sure about this. It's supposed to blend beautifully into the skin, create a matte filter for you. I forgot to do my brow gel first. I'm always doing that. I always get a weird tinge in my brow gel because I do it after I put my foundation on and lately I've been trying to remember to put the brow gel on first. Fail today. Epic fail. This is how I felt about the Ulta complexion crush that there was some people that were really into it and it just pilled on my skin and just did not do good. And I'm wondering if this is gonna do the same. It's as good as it's gonna get. I will report back how it wore, what it did, and if this is actually 16 hour? Yeah, 16 hour wear. All right, so a trick that I learned on Risida's makeup and again, I'll link that channel down below. I'm gonna see if it helps me with this concealer, which this concealer everybody has been talking about, everybody has been loving. And on me, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And I'm wondering if it's me not putting it on with my fingers. So we're gonna try that. And I'm also gonna try this trick. Instead of setting it with either loose powder or a pressed powder, setting it with an eyeshadow that is about the same color as my skin is or a little bit lighter if I want to lighten that up. This was a hack she learned on TikTok. So we're going to try it and see if that doesn't help me a little bit. So we're going to go in with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I'm not going to put it on a beauty blender today. I'm just going to take it on my fingers. And usually I would do one pump per eye, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to share it between the eyes. And maybe I'm putting on too much. Maybe it needs the warmth of my finger to work with it like the Becca does. And then we're also gonna do that as an eyeshadow primer on the lid because the one eyeshadow primer that I got from Ulta, I hate. So concealer has always done right by me. And um, before this dries, I'm just gonna do this on the other eye and try to blend this out. I have tried with brushes. I've tried with the beauty blender. I used to do it with my fingers and remembered that it took forever. So we're gonna see if this works a little bit better and use the beauty blender to kind of take some off. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong, I was just using too much. So that one pump shared between the eyes and then going in with a beauty blender. Definitely working with the concealer with my fingers help this a little bit. I'm still not in love with it though, you guys. All right, so this is the eyeshadow palette that we're gonna be working with today. We got this in our Poshmark box from Amy. This is the NYX Warm Neutrals palette. So I'm gonna choose a color in here that matches my skin tone or as a little bit lighter. I think it's gonna have to be this one right here. So I'm gonna go in with a brush. and pop that on my under eyes. Well, that's actually not a bad color to set that concealer. Now, 
using the eyeshadow instead of using a pressed powder or a loose powder is supposed to last throughout the day and not make me look like the Crypt Keeper, which sometimes with certain concealers, and this is one of them, no matter what I use to set my under eye, I still look like the Crypt Keeper throughout the day and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So we're gonna try this hack. Maybe I just have really squishy under eyes. This is actually a good shade to choose. Good job, Marie. All right, so we're gonna set the under eye with this. I will be very shocked. Like Rissa was, Rissa was very shocked that this actually worked. So I am going to also be shocked. I could also just be putting way too much powder on too. Cause I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> that looks to be good right there. So one of the other tips that Rissa got from TikTok was to use setting spray more often. So we're going to try that because with the Ulta Complexion Crush, it moves around on me even with the Power Grip Primer. So we're going to try this and see if everything stays put today. I'm going to go in. And then we're going to wait until that dries. All right. And I'm going to press that into the skin as well for longevity. Oh, it's sticky, like the Power Grip Primer. Oh, maybe that's the secret. All right, let's go. So now I'm gonna go into this Too Faced palette. This is the Turn Up the Light Complexion Enhancing Highlighter Palette. So this middle shade is supposed to be a powder that you set your face with, and then you've got two different highlighters on the end. One is a less intense highlight, and this one is shimmery 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 highlights so we're gonna set the face with this middle one i'm gonna go into the soft focus here and we're gonna set the face with that after the setting spray again makeup is supposed to be fun trying new things seeing what works seeing what doesn't so usually i would not buy a, a palette like this but if you watched one of my ulta haul videos this was on sale for half off, uh, not part of the 21 Days of Beauty. It was a couple days before. Normally this palette is $46, which I would not pay $46 for this, no matter how pretty it is. But it was half off, so $23 for this? I, I definitely was like, okay, I'll do that. Total net weight in this is three grams. So I thought this was substantial and I just, I was excited. And isn't that what makeup is supposed to do? It's supposed to excite us. All right, so we're gonna pop this all over the face. Makeup is supposed to be fun. And to me, this is fun. So I got it. Do what makes you happy. As long as it's not hurting anybody else, do what makes you happy. And I think that's why I've gotten into makeup lately is because the pretty things that make me happy. All right, so that looks good. I think what I'm going to do now is we're gonna go into the eyeshadow. All right, so yes, this is a basic bitch palette. We got this for free from Amy in our Poshmark box, along with another primer. I was gonna try that today, but like I said, I felt like using a new primer with a new foundation was disastrous, a recipe for disaster. So I chose to use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer and because I have to go to work today, we're going to use the Basic Bitch Palette. I have never used NYX eyeshadows before, so I'm just evaluating here, seeing what I want to use. So none of these have names, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this shade here for my crease shade. A lot of kick up, very powdery. Some eyeshadows are powdery, and that doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad. Ooh. All right, this is pigmented. I like this. Okay. I'm gonna go back in for the other eye. One of the things on the 21 Days of Beauty that Ulta has is a palette by Lorac, AKA Carol, if you don't know what I mean. Little rock spelled backwards is Carol, and I saw that on Teresa's is dead. Teresa is dead's channel, and now that I've seen it, I can't unseen it. It's like the arrow on the FedEx logo. 
So that one is also a basic bitch palette. It is very similar to this, but I don't care. It's the rock. It's nostalgic to me. I want it. All right. I think to deepen up the crease a little bit, we're going to go into the shade that's right next to it. Ooh, okay. That's like a pinky mauve shade. Ooh, I like that. Okay. All right, NYX. Then I'm going to go back into that shade and go into the other eye with it get the pigmentation that I want. And then I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush and I'm going to blend out the edges. Okay, I really like this. All right, now for a uh, lid shade. I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna be bold for work. And just this one is calling to me. I pair the two together? What would happen? What could happen? I have to take it off and start over again. Ooh, this is nice. <gasps> this is a nice fall color. Oh, I could see pairing this with this on top. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put that on the other lid. I think I like this basic bitch palette. Like I said, I've never tried eyeshadow from NYX and I, I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm a fan. For everyday basic bitch looks, guess. All right, I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush that has no product on it and we're just gonna buff out the edges. And then I'm gonna go into the other side of that shader brush and we're gonna use this one right here just to put a little bit. Actually, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I can use the shader brush. So we're gonna go in with the other side of the shader brush and pop this on my lid as well. Just a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty together. Definitely a good look for fall, which it's not fall yet, but it's right around the corner. And fall is my favorite time of the year. So maybe I'm just ready. I'm just ready. I'm done sweating. I'm done. Done. I haven't even been to the beach this year yet. All right, so we're going to go through, we're gonna buff that out. Yeah. This is a little bit darker than what I would wear for work, but I, I do, I think I like it. All right, I'm just gonna go in with a big brush and I'm gonna wipe out, there wasn't a lot of fallout, but I'm just gonna wipe whatever may be there away. Plus I just like the feel of a poofy brush on myself. If you like also like the feel of poofy brushes on your face, let me know in the comments down below what poofy brushes you like. Because again, new to makeup, new to brushes. All right, I keep forgetting about this. This is just the Ulta Clear Brow Gel. So I'm gonna put that in my brows, finally. The spoolie is really tiny, not what I'm used to. But I haven't tried this yet for hold. So we're gonna see what this is like. And I feel like when I plucked, I plucked one of my brows too much reminiscence of the early 2000s. If I can find it, I'll insert a picture in here of how I overplucked one one time. Okay, not bad. So now I'm gonna try a new eyeliner. This was actually sent to me, I wanna say in PR, Urban Decay, hit me up. No, I was on Instagram that you could sign up for a free sample of this. So I did, and they sent it to me in the mail. So that's kind of like PR, right? So this is the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in the color Zero. This is a pencil liner. And it boasts that, well, it doesn't boast anything on the pencil, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a 24-7 glide on pencil. So it's supposed to be a long wearing eyeliner. So we're gonna see if it's long wearing or not. I will check back in with you guys at the end of the day, which I'm working late tonight until about 8.30. It is about nine o'clock in the morning now, so that is a very long day. So I'm just gonna do a basic line. We're not gonna do anything fancy. Of course, I went over. Now I have to clean that up. Good old Q-tips. I get makeup everywhere, all over me, everywhere. And I'm thinking I'm not the only one.
It's like playing with paint, right? You're gonna get a little bit dirty. It's paint for your face. Shellac. I have a feeling that this is going to not stay put. Usually when I try pencils or crayons as eyeliner, it's just something about my lids that eats it or makes it fall down here or just poofs. So we'll see what happens. I'm really excited to try out this. Everybody has been talking about this. So this is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I got it in the waterproof because again, my eyes water all the time. So we'll see what my first impressions of this are. This is what the wand looks like. Um, we're gonna go in and see. As you guys know, my favorite Holy Grail mascara is the Tarte Maneater one. And I do, uh, it was on sale a little bit ago, but somebody had told me that they had heard that it was going away. And I was like, my man eater better not go away, bitch, no, no. So I, I have been stocking up just in case that happens. But then I also said to myself, Marie, you have to be aware that things get discontinued all the time. So you better start looking for something else that may work. Oh, I do like this. I do like this for my lashes. This is actually very reminiscent of the Tarte. It's not as clumpy, which I like. I also feel like it's not as dark, but I think the wand is good for my under lashes because it's skinny. All right, we're gonna go into the other eye. I do, I, th I think I like this. Okay, yeah, it's official. I really do like this for my under eyes, whereas the Tarte Man Eater, I can't really get in there with the brush because it's just too big. Looking at my lips right now, and wow, that lip plumper actually did do some work on it. Okay, I see you. So that might be something that I start doing at the beginning of my makeup routine every morning. Looking at what I've got in front of me. It's time for bronzer. So we're gonna use this palette. This I also got in my Poshmark. This came from Amy. This is the Tarte Cheeky Claymate Face Palette. And the colors are Soulmate, Got Me Blushing, and Light of My Life. So I figured we wouldn't use the highlighter in this, but we would use the bronzer and the blush and see how that works. Usually I'm a fan of Tarte blushes. I have the Amazonian Clay Blush and that I've always been a fan of. So I'm gonna go in here with this powder, it is a powder, just on a contour brush like that. And I'm gonna make a weird face. I'm gonna put it in the hollows down here. I'm very conflicted, cause I'm new to bronzer and I don't exactly know where to put it, but I've seen a lot of people like put it up here and it looks like blush. And then I'm like, but is that really doing anything for you? All right, so that powder did not get rid of my texture, but it did make it me glowy a little bit all over. So I'm not hating it. I'm gonna put some up here to warm up the complexion. Yeah, so I'm not entirely certain where to put it, but in my mind, the apples of your cheeks are where blush go and the bronzer goes below it because it's meant to contour out the hollows of your cheeks. If I'm wrong, please let me know. Cause again, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm learning and I'm having fun doing it. And that's all that matters. And I really like putting bronzer on the forehead cause it does, it just, it warms me up. Makes me look like I've been out in the sun when I really haven't. It just adds depth and dimension to your face something I never did until recently. And yeah, I'm liking this bronzer. I definitely am liking it. Tarte, I, I don't think I've seen a bad thing from Tarte. If you've seen a bad thing from Tarte, let me know. Put some down here, get rid of the double chin. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna fluff out the harsh edges. And then the one thing I always seem to forget to do is to contour my nose. So we're not going to forget to do that today. 
So I'm going to take another brush. This is a brush by e.l.f. And we're just going to contour the nose. So how I do it is I go as if I was going to go from my crease. And then I start right here and just go down the nose like that. Go in from the other side as well. And it surprised me the first time I did this, like how different it made me look. It's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna go back in, fluff that out. And then I'm gonna go in with blush. So I got my e.l.f. blush brush here. e.l.f. has good affordable brushes. But in the Ulta 21 day sale, they have it brushes on sale, which I, I that's on my list. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks and I can't seem to get blush to stay on my cheeks. No matter how much I put on, it's like my face eats it. And I don't know how it does that. You know, I've seen different YouTubers put a cream blush on and then put a powder on top. And I was like, if you're putting two different blushes on, why? But maybe that helps with the longevity. I am not certain. I'm going to have to do more research. More research is needed. Pop some on my nose a little bit. I do like this color though. Yeah, and the color on this has got me blushing. I don't know if they sell it as a single, but I'm definitely liking this palette. All right, so now we are going to go back into the Too Faced Highlight palette. And if I was going out, I think I would go for the Dazzle. But seeing as I'm just going to work, we're just going to go for a regular glow. So I'm just going to take my fan brush. I am not a fan of the fan brush for highlighter. And we're going to go into glow with it. I have a brush that I usually use for my under eye. And it says that it is a highlighting brush. And I think I like that better for highlight. So I might have to get another one but just from a different company so that I don't mix them up. All right, so I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more of that. This is not an intense one, which is nice for, you know, every day. Yeah, I can't really see that at all. Is it even there? Ah, there we go. All right. Yeah, so that's a very nice, subtle highlight. And I feel like I'm looking like the Crypt Keeper already. All right, and then we're gonna go in the forehead, down the nose, which we didn't do with concealer today, but you know what, that's okay. We can make that work with the highlight. Cupid's bow on the chin. A little bit more on the nose tip. Mm -hmm. And then what I think I'm going to do just to try it out is I'm going to go into that dazzle highlight. I'm going to do that for my inner corner and beneath the brow bone and see what that looks like. Because I'm intrigued. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that is a sparkly bitch right there. Yep, I think I'm happy with this purchase. I think it's still on sale if you guys want to get it. Like I said, $23, a $46 palette for $23. And it just is cute. I really like it. And then beneath the brow bone, a little bit of sparkle, like so. All right, I think all that is left is the lips. So we're going to go in with an... A lip liner, I know, right? So this is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner. I haven't used this one yet. I've used the pencil one and I was not a fan of the pencil one. So I'm hoping that this one is gonna be a little bit creamier. So we're gonna go on the lips. Oh, it is, it is much creamier. Okay, I like this better. The pencils on me, not a fan. But this, yes. And lip liner is supposed to help the longevity of your lipstick throughout the day and so that it doesn't bleed. It's not something I used to use. So, something new I'm trying. 
So that is that. I definitely like that formula better than I do the pencil. The pencil one, the pencil one that I'm talking about, it looks like this. I'm just, I'm not a fan. I broke the tip off twice trying to use it the first time. Maybe I just need to soften it up first. We shall see. All right, and then the lip color I'm gonna go in with. This is also from Tarte. This is from their Sugar Rush line. This is Sugar Coat. And this is in the shade Cake Pop. So I also got this from Ulta. They were doing, if you buy five of the little minis, you get them for $5 each. So I thought that was a good way to try new things from Tarte. So we're gonna put this on. It's definitely a creamy color. I like how it goes on. I like how it feels. Usually I'm not a fan of matte, but I have learned that for every matte lipstick, you can put a gloss on top. Hmm. All right, so that is looking good. So the gloss that I'm gonna put on top is the NYX This Is Milky gloss in the shade Ube Milkshake. And the thing I was interested about the most with this was how this smells because i've never heard of ube Ooh, it smells like mixed berries i like it i got it for the color though because fall is right around the corner and i thought this would be a great fall color so we're gonna pop this on top and it is indeed going to be a good fall color I of course get it on my teeth sure yeah i definitely like it Definitely like it. All right, guys, so this is the completed look. And of course, I took my hair down and forgot the setting spray, so we're gonna just dose myself with it one more time. Let that dry down. I will put in the description box how everything wore today. I'm really interested about this. Now that I have this on my face and powder is on top of it, and other things are on top of it. I like it. Do I feel like it's an in-life filter? Um, not really. I feel like I see texture here and that could be from the powder products that I put on after. But even when I first put it on, my first impression of this was that this was not an in-life filter. Something I like better is the It Cosmetics Nude CC Cream, the Nude Glow CC Cream. That I feel like does that. The NYX concealer, we're gonna have to see how this eyeshadow works throughout the day. I thought that it was getting a little bit dry, but now with the setting spray, it looks better and better than when I use a powder over it instead of eyeshadow. So we're gonna keep trying that. I have a lot of eyeshadow, so why not? So we're gonna see how this does with that. Definitely in love with this Too Faced palette that I got. I just, I can't recommend this enough. I love the glow on it. I love the powder on it. I love that there's two different intensities of glow as well. Really liking the two that I tried out of the Tarte palette, the bronzer and the blush. We'll see how long the blush lasts for because like I said, my face eats blush. The NYX Warm Nudes palette with the Urban Decay 24-7. We're gonna see how that works. And then of course the Lash Princess. I'm interested to see if it flakes, smudges, goes anywhere throughout the day. Cause if it doesn't, it's not a bad dupe for the Tarte Man Eater. All right guys, so that is everything for today. Like I said, I'm going to update the description box with the wear test and let you guys know how everything did. I might actually pop a video clip in here Hey guys, I just wanted to check in with you so that you could see how the makeup wore. Unfortunately, about three hours in, I noticed that on my chin and on my forehead, everything looked like it was moving around foundation wise. It definitely looked cakey. I could manipulate it and I could move it around even with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. So I was really not happy with that. Um, 12 hours in, it definitely, Looks like it has settled down. I don't know how long it took because it was just a crazy day at work. This eyeliner is a no-go for me. So 24 seven, 
you could see that it has made its way down here. I have transfer up here and it is still not as brilliant as it was when I put on. Now this transfer down here, yes, it could be the mascara, but I really think it's the eye liner. And the only way to test that is to use the NYX, which I know doesn't move with the same mascara and see what happens. Uh, the eyeshadow longevity seems to have held. Even the blush longevity and the, the bronzer longevity, definitely layering the setting spray, I'm very happy with. And I'm actually really happy with the under eye. Setting it with eyeshadow, I was a little bit hesitant against because I thought it was gonna look like the Crypt Keeper by the end of the day. And I do have a little bit of dryness under here just because, yes, I am old. Uh, but it's nowhere near what it normally is on me. So I'm going to keep trying that and see what happens. So that is everything. Thank you for spending some time with me. Again, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. It really helps me out. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, spending some time with me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.